Well, that's not supposed to do that. The power washer's not looking too good. It's not supposed to be blowing water out of the bottom of the pump. But that's okay, because we're DIY certified. Let's get it repaired, coming up. Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading. And since off-roading creates mud, and you've gotta have a way to wash that off, my power washer needs a little bit of help. About a week ago, the pump started dumping water out of the bottom of it. So, I ordered a repair kit, and let's get that put in. Here we are at the power washer. It took me a long time even to find a repair kit for this. Generac labels this as unserviceable. There's really no such thing. This is a pump just like anything else. There has to be parts for this. So, I searched around and I found a company that sells a repair kit for this. And here it is, and there's the part number, and there is the company. And they were real easy to work with, and they sent me a repair kit right out. So let's pull this pump apart and see what we've got. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these th uh, three six millimeter Allen head screws and take the pump apart. So there's one. Two. Three. And then this should come right apart. There we go. Now you can see these three O-rings in here. And if you'll look at this closely, the O-rings, they're completely chewed up. You see that? So we're going to replace those and see if we can get this thing working again. So we're going to pop these three O-rings out. And then I'm just going to clean up these surfaces a little bit. Just to make sure we get a really good seal. for our new o-rings to sit like so then we're going to take our new o-rings now the direction that you install these is very important there is a side that has a little groove in it and then there's a side that does not and you want to make sure that you put that groove side down into the pump surface and I'm just gonna see if I can get that to pop in there And I'm using the back end of my pick just to kind of make sure that that's seated good. Like so. And we're going to do two more of those. And what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that I get that water seal to seat all the way down in the groove. Just like so. So there's two, and then we'll do our third one. Now I'm taking great care not to damage, damage these O-rings with my pick.
You know, guys, I was a little disappointed that this already happened on this Generac. This was not a cheap, cheap power washer by any means. This thing is not that old. I mean, granted, I've used the heck out of it. But that's what power washers are for, is to power wash with. And the guy at the company told me that, you know, Generac uses a pretty cheap pump for these. It's not really an industrial level machine. He said their engines are really good, but their pumps are pretty, pretty run of the mill. All right, and it looks like we have all three of our O-rings seated. Now, I'm just going to clean up this other mating surface. And let's see how that's going to go. Oh yeah, that feels way more snug. And I'm just going to get all three of these started. And I'm going to tighten them down by hand. And I'm going to snug each one of them up together a little bit at a time. So that the pump seats evenly. Now let's take a look at these bad O-rings. Now you guys can see if you look really close you can see how destroyed the o-rings have gotten look at this it's literally just falling apart in my hand look at that I'm just destroyed so let's put some water to this thing and see how we did Well, that's it, guys. I call that a DIY certified repair. And honestly, it was a 10-minute job. The hardest part of the whole thing was finding a company that sold a repair kit and sold those O-rings to repair the pump on that particular Generac power washer. And truthfully, guys, I haven't been that impressed with that Generac. You know, I thought I was buying a real high-quality product. It's less than a year and a half old, and the pump's already blown out. Not too long ago, I dropped it and the, and the handle that holds the wand on broke off of it and I haven't been able to find a repair for that or to get that glued back on to where it'll stay. And so I give it a mediocre at best. It might be slightly above something you would get at some big box store, but for the name Generac, I feel like it should be a little bit better quality. Next time, I'm going to buy something on more of an industrial size level so that that way I'll have it and it'll be professional and I won't have to worry about it breaking. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great community of guys that we have here that watch my videos every single week. And give me a thumbs up why, because you know it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next